What's up, guys? Nick from P2W Fantasy. Want to throw together a quick video here uh, talking about my guy Elijah Moore, who just continues to grow on me um, as I look at uh, him as a player from college, him in his new landing spot, and um, just getting ready for rookie drafts. I actually just had one this past weekend. And um, it actually had some IDP sprinkled in there uh, as well. We have full IDP, so not necessarily sprinkled, but um, we had a rookie draft, and I knew some other guys were fans of Elijah's. So I actually went and traded up in the draft and took him at the end of the first round. So it might have been a reach, but I think it's worth it just based off of um, him being one of my guys and him being a guy that I have a lot of excitement about in this league. So I want to talk about him really quick here. So draft pick, second pick of this second round, pick 34 overall. Elijah was actually the sixth wide receiver off the board um, for this past year's draft. Uh, you'll see some clips of him playing here. Um, the Jets went with Zach Wilson as their quarterback in the first round and then paired him with a great wide receiver. Obviously, he's excited. His entire crew here is very excited, and I'm very excited about Elijah Moore. So him as a prospect, talked about him briefly in some other um, content, but him as a prospect, what stands out is the slot abilities. Uh, the route running and separation is very, very good. Um, he's got great hands. You'll see a clip in this um, where he's scooping it up almost off the ground. Um, competes for catches, very competitive guy. He can line up, though, in multiple uh positions on the field and he gets utilized in very different ways. So even though he is that, you know, NFL prototypical slot guy, I think um, the fact that he can line up in different areas of the field will make him even more valuable uh, when it comes to fantasy and when it comes to the Jets. Um, some of these clips you'll see him going vertical as well, making the big plays. So even though he, he does find his space across the field in a lot of these clips, he can do what he's about to do spoiler alert uh, in this clip here and go deep and go down the field. So um, the run after the catch, that's another thing with the ball in his hand. So um, I think the fact that he is ready in the sense of separating and route running and then um, can be diverse in his usage will be very, very good for fantasy and for the Jets. So looking at the, the pair here, we got Zach Wilson uh, drafted in the first round. These guys are already talking about each other a lot, which is great. Um, Elijah Moore says he's been in contact uh, with Zach Wilson almost every day. This is uh, Rick Semini here tweeting this. Um, he's like a general. His passion comes out through the phone. Um, he said he's ready to watch him. Uh, ready to watch him look pretty throwing me balls. So um, he's already got that confidence, the confidence with Zach Wilson, the quarterback. Uh, Zach as well. You look at the next tweet here from Jets videos. He wants to learn from every aspect of the game and to know why everything is happening, even if it doesn't specifically have to do with him. So uh, that's a quote from Zach Wilson. Obviously, he sounds like he's impressed with the mentality from Elijah Moore as well. Again, these are tweets. These are just almost like the coach talk, but coming from players. But at the same time, it sounds like these guys are connected pretty early. Uh, PFF also tweeted that this duo, Zach Wilson, had the highest graded passer, um, was the highest rated passer in the draft with 95.5. On the flip side, his connection, his duo right here, wide receiver, was the uh, second highest graded wide receiver in the draft, 91.2. So um, highly regarded, and this pairing can be very, very good for fantasy. Might have skipped a slide there. There you go. So the wide receiver competition, the guy that stands out is Jameson Crowder because he plays a similar role than what Elijah Moore might play. But there's a lot of rumblings that Jameson Crowder can actually be traded or cut. And I actually think that'd be smart of the Jets to uh, capitalize off of Crowder, bringing in a younger guy who can do a lot of things that Crowder has done. So look for Jameson Crowder to be dealt, which opens up the floor even more. Um, when we look at when we look at uh, Corey Davis, great year this past season, tied 
the career high with receptions and had the most yards of his career. Um, performing, though, is that wide receiver two behind A.J. Brown in the Titans offense. So um, I think Corey Davis is going to be good. I don't know if he's like the guy, though, in a system. Um, Denzel Mims, a lot of people like him. Uh, 23 catches on 44 targets this past season, but he was banged up, um, missed a handful of games. But if you look at his his, his college profile, uh, Mims had 66 receptions for 1,020 yards, 12 touchdowns in 13 games. On the flip side, Elijah in eight games had 86 receptions, so more 1,193 receiving yards, so more um, and eight touchdowns, so less. But again, we're comparing Mims to Elijah Moore. Um, 13 to eight games in the receptions and yardage is, is very different. Uh, Keelan Cole's a guy I also like, but um, he might be third, fourth in line come this time. He had some nice games for the Jags last year, but um, it wasn't consistent volume. But when he did have the volume, he was good. Uh, but I think looking at this stack list here, Elijah can be the day one volume guy. Maybe, you know, guys like Corey Davis uh, can open up the field and um, Denzel Mims can make some bigger plays. But if you look at a guy like Elijah Moore, what he profiles as, I think he can be that guy that handles the volume. In college, those eight games, those eight games, 10, 10, 11, 11, 5, 14, 13, and 12 receptions across those eight games. So he had so many games where he's catching so many passes. So he can handle the volume and he might be the guy that's getting the most targets in this system. Maybe he doesn't make the biggest plays, but coming into the the, uh, the season with a brand new quarterback who is already connected with him, I think that the volume and the target share can definitely be there. So I came out with uh, some Superflex rankings that these will change um, often. I'll probably change this like tomorrow, but I had uh, Elijah slotted as the best um, in the top 15. So he was number 14. Uh, Waddle and Bateman, you can even debate, you know, how that volume is going to look for those two guys, but I had more um, right behind them. So overall, number 14 off the board for me. Um, these will change again, and I'm sure people will disagree and have their own justifications. But again, very high in, on uh, Elijah Moore, um, his profile and the opportunity at hand. Appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. Be live again this week.